Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload a file as well as some model data to your web API in one shot. So we're going to call only one API and we're going to send all this information so that we can process the, uh, the data as well as we can upload the image. So I'll give an example. Um, the example that you're going to see is this product image that you're seeing on the screen. But think of this, you're going to update a profile. So there will be a profile photo of a person and then some information of a person, right? The name, first name, last name, mobile age, blah, blah. And along with that, you need to upload an image of the user, which is avatar image. Okay. So you can use that as an example. So what you're going to do is, so in this example, I'm going to take the essential product app that I have it on the GitHub. Okay. So when I'm running this, I'm on a product page. I'm going to edit an image. So far, what you've seen that uh, angle video is there's a separate component where only the upload was there and if you choose an upload if you choose an image and if you like for example if i choose this image you can actually upload the image here okay but in our case what you're going to do is we're going to upload image so let's take this example so if i choose this the image has been uploaded and you can see the image coming up here Okay, so what we're doing is here only the image has been uploaded. The data is not sent during an update. Okay, but what I'm going to show you is in this update of a product, you have this name, description, price, category, all these things. Along with that, this upload file image is also here. Okay, when you click on save product, we're going to call. Okay, so it's rolling because it's here. I'm going to run this. All right, this is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, we're going to check how this is going to work here. Okay, this is basically because uh, the name was all the same. All right, so now what we're going to do is um, we're going to see how to upload this. Now, before that, you should know first what the API is supporting. So I have an API, okay, which has uh, a model which will have an image. I mean, the iPhone file image and then along with it, a bunch of property. Okay, so if I just quickly have to show you what it is. So this is the endpoint. In that endpoint, we have an image model, and inside the image model, if you see, there's an iPhone image as a property of the model. Okay, and this is coming as only one parameter, and then it is not from body, it is from form. You just need to specify from form. Once you have this API supporting that, and then which means this one has these bunch of properties along with that an image. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are on an edit page. We are going to choose all these things and I'm going to select a file. Let's say I select this file. Okay. So this file is selected. Click on save. It has come here. Let's run this. Image is saved. Image has been processed along with these information. Okay. And because that is processed, if I refresh this, you can see the new image coming up here. Okay. So basically we were able to upload it on one shot and we were able to update this. Okay. Like if I say 20, you can actually uh, change this and then upload the image as well. All right. Now, how did we do that? You know how the API supports, but from the Angular perspective, from a client perspective, what we're going to do is this is the uh, existing code. And if I come to this edit product, basically what we are going to do is First of all, before going to edit product, there's a file upload, right? So let's go to file upload. Okay, so this is the piece of code that I have added. So along with your reactive form, I just included one input of type file and then whatever you saw in the upload controller, right? Upload component, it is exactly the same. So I just added this piece of code. Whenever there's a change in the file happens, it triggers to this one. So let's go to this method and see what this is doing. So in this method, what it is doing is, it is basically uh, taking the file and then there is something called form data. So form data is at this level, like I have added this form data. Okay, so the form data, we once we receive the file, we will append that to the form data. Now, once this has the images, after you uh, click on any of this content, okay, after you click on any of this content, it will basically come to the save product. So in save product, what we are going to do is we are going to gather the form data instead of the model. So if I go inside this form data, basically what we are going to do is instead of sending in a model, we will append all the property like key name pair, okay, uh, key and the uh, value, key value pair. 
So key is description, name, price, category ID, ID is active. These are the properties that you saw here, right? So this API needs all this information along with the image. So basically, we already have the image up appended in this section. Okay, so this file which will have the image as soon as the image changes. And before we uh, trigger an update call, we gather this information and append it. So the form data will eventually have a key value pair of the, the file that you choose. Okay, and then all the other properties like description, name, price, all these properties. Once you have this data, very simple, you just send this, uh, you, you just send that data to the, uh, to the endpoint. And that's it, everything will magically work. And that's what you saw, we, we were able to do it from the UI as well as in the previous video, I show you how to do it from the, uh, the postman or any other client. So, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and it is useful for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.